is the manual transmission in my Tacoma after one year. Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. So how is my Toyota Tacoma's manual transmission after one year of ownership. You know, when I first got this truck, I will admit, I was uh, a little disappointed. I think that came through in the videos. I had a lot of comments from people, ah, oh, you just don't know how to drive one. Ah, oh, you should get rid of it. Ah, oh, it's a truck, it should feel that way. Well, I disagree with all of that, of course, as I think I iterated in my response to those comments. Um, but how is it doing now? You know, I will say there is a couple of break-in periods. One is you. You as the new owner. You know, every manual transmission, I would say even in every car within every model, has its own nuances, right? You have to get used to it. You kind of have to train yourself how to drive that particular manual transmission. And I think that was for sure the case for me, you know? I've driven many different manuals in my lifetime and I have certain expectations, right? And, you know, expectations are a funny thing. I strive for perfection and I want perfection in my vehicles, right? But let's be honest, you know, there really isn't one out there that's perfect. I would say the closest uh, I've probably ever experienced is the Honda transmission, the Honda manual transmission. They have that thing down to the T. I mean, it is, again, almost, if not perfect. It's just awesome. But the Tacoma transmission, manual transmission, of course, is nothing like that. It uh, It's rougher. It's clunkier. It talks to you. It makes noise. Everything kind of bounces around a little bit. You can feel it, you know, in the shifter. It's just different. So you have to get used to it yourself. You have to retrain yourself or get familiar, I guess, with the manual transmission. How long does that take? Depends on how much you drive, I suppose. For me, it took quite a while because I don't drive the truck a whole lot. I split time with my other vehicle, my Jeep Gladiator. So that didn't help and that's an automatic. So it took even more time. Um, the other thing is the break-in period for the, the gearbox itself. And I believe there is a break-in period. You know, everything's gotta sync together properly, gotta notch the right way. You know, they have little nylon, what do you wanna call them? Tabs, strips, inserts, gap fillers, whatever you wanna call them. And those kinda have to break in a little bit, right? And, you know, I'll tell you, I really noticed that probably in this truck, in this manual, more than I have in, in any other manual that I've ever had. And what I'm talking about is reverse. Reverse in the gear notching. You know, reverse in this truck is all the way over and up to the left, right? I'm used to all the way over and down to the right. So I did have to get used to that myself. But it never, when I first started, I always seemed to hit reverse when I wanted to hit first. You know, if I was sitting in a stoplight in neutral, say, and I do that a lot, I'll pull up, and if it's a long light to rest my foot, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and shift in, or out of gear, rather, and sit neutral, and then when the light turns, have to go over into first. And there were a couple of occasions I've mentioned where I actually went into reverse and got a little surprised when I gave it some gas and didn't go the way I expected to go, right? Um, but I'm happy to report that after having it for quite a while, it does seem to have gotten better. Now, some of that could be attributed to me. It could be that I'm just more used to it now than I was originally, I suppose, but it does seem to have gotten smoother. Um, it, it seems to be easier now to hit first gear uh, as compared to accidentally going into reverse. I haven't had that happen to me now in quite a while. And again, you know, I just noticed as I was at the stop sign, I went from whatever gear I was in, probably just coasting, I don't even know, uh, into first. 
uh, from the stop there and no issues at all. I mean, it just kind of went over, went right in and no big deal. <coughs> now, the one other thing that I want to mention, it's a weird, I'll call it a phenomenon. And that's what I like to call, what, vapor locking. I'll call it vapor locking. It almost seemed originally, and I do still have this happen occasionally, like sometimes when you're gonna go into first gear after you've been driving, maybe you coast up to a, a stop sign or something, which I do frequently, stop light, and then stop, and then wanna go into first gear, it doesn't go. It's like it's hitting a wall. It won't go into first gear, and you should never force it, by the way. You know, my first inclination always is to just give it some muscle. That'll work, but don't do that. There's obviously some, excuse me, something that's not meshing up properly there and you need to make sure that you get it right so to get around that I've had to double clutch or even shift into another gear not actually take off and go but shift into another gear come out of that gear and then go ahead and go up over into first right so it's not a big deal and I have experienced that in other vehicles so I wouldn't say that's unique to the Tacoma and for anybody that's gonna gonna say well that's just you I don't think so I mean you know I'm pushing on the clutch I'm stopped if it won't go into to first if it's like hitting a wall then that's just the way that it is I didn't do anything funky I didn't rattle the shifter around or flip through all the other gears real quick or you know turn the truck off do anything really weird to make that happen so I don't believe that's just me I think it kind of is inherent to some manual transmissions, not everyone, uh, but definitely with the Toyota Tacoma, and more so in the beginning. That seems to have gotten better. Um, I'm not experiencing that like I did before. So that's good news. That's also fixed itself, if you will. And I think, again, that's probably just part of the break-in period, if you will, um, as well as getting used to the truck. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of give a little report. I know when I first got the truck, I uh, I wasn't real keen on its manual transmission. Not that I didn't like it. I mean, I love the truck and I love going through the gears, you know, running through in this truck. Uh, you just have to get used to it a little bit, get used to its little nuances and train yourself on how to deal with the way that the truck shifts. So I'd be curious if you have a manual transmission, did you notice any of these things? Uh, or is it just me? Leave a comment. Let me know. I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. The second is Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatch. Check them out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Check them out. If you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to check that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.